Hi, welcome to the Pulse Shift News and the Mavstar Observatory. Guys, I think you're going to find this upload intriguing and for more than one reason. At the moment, you're probably aware that there's a lot of talk about is the Pulse Shift going to be just an excursion or is it going to be a real, you know, uh, reversal of the magnetic poles on the Earth? So, you know, we're talking about magnetic excursions. So, you know, let's get into this video. But before we do, as always, guys, I'd like to thank those few people that are supporting us. And if you remember, we lost 10% of our patrons uh, cash that's raised at the end of the month for this observatory. And, you know, we really have got our work cut out now trying to get that back. You know, if patrons not for you, there is a PayPal link. So, you know, I'll get on with it then, shall I? So I think, guys, we need to go back to Mars to answer this question about whether we're going through a magnetic excursion or a complete full reversal. I think that it could be likely that we are going through another complete reversal, but no one can be too sure about this because we don't know what events set up a complete reversal or you know, a magnetic excursion. Now, for those that don't know what the excursions are, Excursions are when the pole reverses but only does so for about 12 or 14,000 years and a complete reversal, well, used to before the last time, 780,000 years ago, go through a complete reversal every 350,000 years. So excursions um, in general are a lot uh, over a lot shorter periods of time whereas complete reversals seem to hold for thousands and hundreds of thousands of years. But there is something else that can happen, and that's why I suggest we need to go back to Mars, if not a manned mission, at least a rover mission, and we need to study that impact crater that one of those spaceships that went over there uh, monitoring the magnetic field of Mars detected in this impact crater uh, magnetic anomalies, which was an indication at one point on Mars it had magnetic poles. Now, the reason why I say we need to go back to Mars and study the terraform in that impact crater is so that we can get a better idea of what was going on regularly before uh, it lost its magnetic field and how often uh, did Mars, if it did, go through reversals and whether it had excursions or not. And maybe there might be something in uh, taking core samples uh, that could answer that question for us. And we could then apply that back here on Earth and we could see at what stage we are, perhaps before we lose our magnetosphere and our magnetic poles permanently. Because there are one of three uh, possible scenarios that we face right now in our lifetimes, guys. First of all, you know that it's on the cards that in the next five to seven years, we are going to start um, you know, the process of a reversal on this planet. We know that because things are starting to move a lot faster over the northern and southern hemispheres on the planet. For the last hundred years, it's been migrating pretty much at a slow pace. But in the last 30 years, it has been covering the shift as the magnetic pole has been migrating over that northern hemisphere over shorter periods of times, more distance. So we are getting close probably to that 40 degree mark at where we'll enter the weak field lines and we'll go through that reversal. And I've estimated that are about another 350 miles. And if we moved at the current pace last year, we'd probably be uh, you know, 10 years away from that. But seeing what we're seeing now with the TriMag, um, you know, we're seeing a lot more activity, more activity than what we've seen in the last two years. And it looks like we could be going through that reversal hitting that 40 degree mark where we go into the weak field lines and we move out of those strong field lines that hold poles in the position um, a lot sooner and therefore probably around about five to seven years. And I think if we go back to Mars, we can find out probably some clues as to why, you know, planets go through excursions and reversals. Like I said, there was three possible scenarios that we face. An excursion, a complete reversal, which lasts hundreds of thousands of years, or we lose the magnetosphere in the same manner as what Mars has. That's what we face, guys. It is going to be a, a catastrophe if we lose the magnetic field on the Earth, because we don't have the technological advancements to replace it ourselves and we've not even 
began to even have a go at doing that. We've not even looked at the possible question, could we protect ourselves from the cosmic radiation if the magnetic field goes down? I think they tell us that because we haven't got to this point where we can control you know, everything um, on our planet, I think that we're, we're classed as a, probably a, a class three uh, intelligent form, life form. Whereas a class 2 or class 1 would have the ability to control its environment on its planet completely. And that would probably include its ability to manipulate a magnetosphere to protect itself from you know, the harmful cosmic radiation. Because if we lose our magnetosphere permanently or for a prolonged period of time, and I'm going to explain why both of these are possibilities first of all for a prolonged period of time is because on average our earth went through a magnetic reversal every 350,000 years and this time it has taken an extra 500,000 years so 780,000 years thereabouts it's taken before it went through another reversal as something slowed down in the core of the planet as something been damaged in the process of the reversals being every 350,000 years and could this be the last one could this be where our earth's magnetosphere pitters out over the next 10 15 20 years and never returns if that's the case it's an extinction level event for every biodiversity on the planet and i can say that with a straight face because it is that there is no life that we've found yet on Mars, and if there is life on there, it's going to be in cellular or microscopic orders. It's not going to be in the forms at which we enjoy on a daily basis on this planet. We have a rich diversity and biodiversity of many, many millions of species still on this planet, even though we are destroying you know, tens of thousands every year, species that we haven't even discovered yet. Can you believe that? So before they've even been discovered, we've made them extinct. It's, it's a terrible situation. We really need to get a grip of what our activities are doing on this planet. And we need to become better stewards of this planet. We are, after all, the most intelligent, although we claim, uh, species on the planet. And yet, you know, every other species we treat as a subcategory and we neglect them. We really need to change our game right now and I think you know what we really need to consider is probably not trying to raise the money ourselves to send a you know a spacecraft to Mars to do that mission but you know I think we should put a little bit of peer pressure on those guys that can organize this you know NASA the European Space Agency and we need to tell them why we want to have, that, have such a mission as to go and explore that impact crater that demonstrates a magnetic anomaly which lets us know that Mars at some point had poles if we can study that we might be able to answer the question why planets like Earth have magnetic excursions and also complete reversals that last over longer periods of times so that's the course of this video guys in short you know there is clues as to you know answering these questions if you ask me the question Gene, is this going to be a magnetic excursion or a complete reversal? I don't really know because I've got limited information to base those decisions on. We just don't know. But all is I can say is 12,000 to 14,000 years with a weakened magnetosphere will be detrimental in its own right in any case. Um, some people believe that, you know, um, these uh, magnetic excursions are linked to ice ages, bringing about ice ages or the other way around. The ice age brings about the excursion well it could be right at the moment we're looking at a grand solar minimum as a result of the grand solar minimum we will get low solar output and the earth will call as a result of low solar output but not only that we will have more cosmic radiation inbound because of a shrinking heliosphere and on top of that a weakened magnetic field due to the earth going through its reversal or an excursion 12,000 to 14,000 years with a weakened magnetosphere could prove detriment to our species as well as a lot of others. It's already been found that um, cosmic radiation can cause cardiac arrhythmic problems as well as cancers. 
you have a weakened magnetosphere we're already at 20 percent reduction of what we should be at full capacity 100 percent and it is weakening as time goes on and when it does reverse the poles on this planet perhaps in the next five to seven years we will have a flat line or close to protection from the magnetosphere and that could be down for at least six 16 to 17 sorry six to seven thousand years at least before it regains its strength and it reverses back so think about that guys as you know uh we do our best uh to inform the general public globally now uh we have taken it on ourselves to put some magnetometers all around this world we've got two in america two in australia now one in hong kong and hopefully soon we will have one in india and of course in the UK we've got the TriMag system which keeps an eye on the actual position of the magnetic pole as well as monitors the magnetosphere strength and we're doing everything we possibly can guys to keep you informed of this major anomaly that's taking place and sometimes it's easier for you know a soap series on TV to capture your attention and take you away from you know the knowledge of what is going on around you and beneath your feet and we try and inform people to this uh, anomaly, which is a rare anomaly. And at least 1% of the Earth's population of human beings know about it or are aware about it. So if you can support us, either on Patreon or PayPal, that would be a great help to us. And there's nothing else to say here, guys, other than, you know, if you feel you must get in touch with NASA or the European Space Agency and tell them why it is important for a mission to be sent back to Mars then I've given you a reason to do that haven't I guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll catch up with you in the week I'll say what I usually do bye for now